स्टूडेंट टूडे वी आर गोइंग डिस्कस ए न्यू चैप्टर फ्रॉम सोशल साइंस हिस्ट्री पार्ट लेट अस लो हिस्ट्री पार्ट चैप्टर 3 दैट इज एंटीक्विटी साइसी एंड प्रेजेंट रिपोर्ट इन असम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू नो व्हाट इज दिस एंटीक्विटी साइसी राइसिंग अगेंस्ट द ब्रिटिश ड्यू टू देयर रूल राइसिंग अगेंस्ट द ब्रिटिश ड्यू ड्यू टू देयर Pizen revolt. Pizen means farmers revolt in Assam. We will study about uh, these two topic in this chapter. Before going to this chapter, let us go to the uh, lesson or uh, key points. What were the key points? First key point is anti-British uprising. What were the reason? We have to book first. What were the reason behind why people of Assam uprooted against British rule? Next, we have to look here in the next key point of this lesson is revolt of 1857. We know about the 1857 revolt in India, and we will study here in the chapter about what impact was there in Assam due to the revolt of 1857, which we call as first revolt against the British in India. What were the impact in Assam? We will study of the revolt of 1857. Next key point is rebellion of Maniram Dewan. A famous personality, or we can say freedom fighter, Maniram Dewan, and his rebellion against the British. Next, we will study about process of the failure of this rebellion. What were the process of the failure of the rebellion? We will discuss in this chapter. Next, we will discuss impact of revenue administration of the British in Assam. What were the revenue administration, new revenue system which were introduced by the British, and their impact on Assamese people or people of Assam? Next one is rice mill and peasant revolt. What is this rice mill? Rice mill, you can rice is an Assamese word that means people's meeting. Rice mill we will call and peasants revolt. Peasant means already I told farmer. Farmers revolt in various places of Assam. So we will study about this one, and lastly we will study about tribal revolt in Assam. So these are some of the key points of this lesson. Now let us go to the chapter. First we will study about anti-British uprising. What were the reason behind people of Assam uprooted against British? We will we, before going to we have to go to 19th century. From then onwards, it started. 19th century East India Company in India it became very powerful. Strong administration also strong administrative base also started in Assam by East India Company. It happened in 19th century. Suppress all the revolt against British. Those who revolted against British were suppressed because they were the powerful ruler or powerful, powerful ruler in Assam. Then, so that that time British were very powerful in Assam and India. Now let us uh, look about the process of the revolt uh, uprising, anti-British uprising. What were the process? First cause for anti-British uprising was. Number one, a more importance was given by the British government in collection of tax. New land revenue introduced collection of tax in cash. What was the new land revenue policy? Before, some people were giving collection uh, tax, either grains they used to give at the end of the year, or they don't pay money, uh, they don't pay uh, in cash. But new land revenue, uh, which was introduced by the British, that uh, they have to pay the revenue in cash, which was a great uh, difficult for the people of Assam. Next number B, if we look, the reason behind anti-British uprising was money economy led to the creation of Mahajans who gave money in interest. Then when when British government announced that they have to pay money in cash. Then anyhow they have to arrange money. For arranging money, what these Assamese people they have to do? They have to take money from Mahajans in interest. Then Assamese populace were forced to take. They have to take loan in high rate of interest and have to pay more. So that was one of the reason for anti-British uprising. 
third one will go british government did not take any measures for development of agriculture they only gave importance in collection of tax but they did not give importance in development of agriculture so that was one of the reasons for anti british uprising fourth one let us look common people of assam have to face famines whenever their climate was unfavorable they have to face famine sometimes drought sometimes flood in assam and what happened when it happens what have they have to but although there were there was no excuse assam people have to pay tax and when unfavorable when it was uh, when they are not able to pay tax what they used to do parents even compel to they have even to, uh, they sell their own children to pay tax such a pathetic condition was among the people of assam during the british rule so this is this is also one of the reason for anti british uprising <coughs> Now let us look to the next reason. What was the next reason? To encourage tea garden revenue of land falling within the garden were exam exempted. They they were more interested in business. So to encourage tea gardeners, British what they had done? They 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 leave the uh, tax of the land which are which fall in the tea garden. Those areas where tea garden was there, those areas. tax were uh, means uh, exempted and the burden of tax where it fall and in the burden of tax suffered by poor peasants of poor farmers of assam have to suffer the burden of tax next reason let us look the deterioration of cottage industries decline of cottage industries why cottage industries the cottage industries means small industries and loom industries small scale industries which were there in assam at the time of it is those were declined why it declined because of the british import foreign goods and other goods from foreign countries from their country they brought to our country so this is one of the reason for deterioration of cottage industries this is also one of the reason for anti british uprising next let us look downfall of autocratic class under british rule due to lack of modern education due to lack of modern education our autocratic class of people uh, gear down for started next let us look assamese autocratic aristocrats were deprived by british by giving post to outsiders they, they outsiders were given to post and the post which were enjoyed by the assamese people before after at the time of british rule they were uh, removed from those post Next one, let us look. British stopped slavery in 1843. This was also one of the reason. As a reason, elite class, that means aristocratic class, what they suffered, they suffered from labor scarcity. There was no labor at that time when this uh, slavery was stopped. And in their estates and field, they have to work themselves. So this was also one of the reason for anti-British uprising. Lastly, let us look. Brahmins and Purohits. Join the movement because British took away their untaxed land. Untaxed lands which were given by the kings, those lands were taken by by British from Brahmins and Purohits, and so they they also joined the revolt. So these are some of the reasons uh, against uh, reason for anti-British uprising. Next topic we will discuss in the next class. Thank you.